Hey, what's up, people? It's me, I'm Kwan. Peace and blessings to your life. I hope you guys are well. I'm here with a new tech video with this, the Black Z3. But before I get into this video, I want to say a massive thank you to all of you that have been supporting my new videos to do with cars on this channel and on my vlog channel. If you haven't seen those, then don't worry. Stay tuned till the end of this video and you can check them out then with the links. Anyway, on to this video. See you after the intro. Peace and blessings. So this is it, the BlackBerry Z3, one of the latest BlackBerry devices. And this is the first in partnership with Foxconn and BlackBerry that was set up by John Chan. We'll take a closer look at the device later on in the video. But for now, let's show you what else you get inside the box. You get the usual array of documentation, the quick start guide, the warranty information. You get headphones, which are standard, but they do have inbuilt microphones, so that's a good thing. You've got micro USB to USB charging cable, and you've got a power brick. Now, when you first handle the device, there are two things that you'll notice about the back. The first is this rubberized textured feel and it actually feels very, very nice in the hand. You've got the speakers on the back, you've got the BlackBerry logo, and then a five megapixel camera with a flash. The other thing to note about the back is that it's got a non-removable back. That means that it contains a 2,500 milliamp battery. The battery, incidentally, is actually very good for this, this device. During my review, I managed to get a full day's worth of use. The micro SD card and SIM card are located on the side that you have to access with quite a flimsy flap and then all the other buttons are located on the side. The top is flush with the exception of the headphone jack. Now this is an interesting device because it's got a 5 inch QHD display that's 540 by 960 that clocks in at 220 ppi. So the device as a whole unit feels really comfortable in the hand. I would go as far as saying uh, more comfortable in the hand than the Z30 or the Q10. Now I'm going to compare this device with a few other BlackBerry devices and really this device doesn't have any specs that makes it shout out at you. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, dual core processor that's clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. It's got uh, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigabytes of internal storage which can be upgraded with the micro SD card and it runs BlackBerry 10 OS, the latest version 10.2.1. Now what this device is aimed at was uh, to allow users of the old BlackBerry OS and uh, new users who want to experience the current BlackBerry 10 OS to actually get a device. And it gives them access to a whole range of BlackBerry uh, applications, things like uh, a really intuitive keyboard, the browser, the BlackBerry Hub, BBM, and the device actually performs really well. I found that there was no kind of lag, there was no speed issues per se, slightly less than the Z30 or the Q10, but nothing that's noticeable for the end user. And when you take the BlackBerry 10 experience with the screen, it's actually a good combination. And really the device is aimed at an ultra communications individual. So if you're concerned with just communicating with you know, messaging apps, with your emails, with the phone functionality, then this is what this device is going to appeal to. Now I've got to talk about the camera. The back camera has a five megapixel camera. The front is 1.1 megapixel. The back camera has a five time digital zoom that records 1080p HD video. Nothing really that's uh, amazing in terms of quality. I found that in normal light it was okay and in low light the quality was actually quite poor. But in terms of the uh, multimedia functions of this device, it's quite limited. And um, that's where this device has 
other alternatives that perhaps are better. If you're looking at the BlackBerry platform per se uh, and you're concerned with specs and concerned with the speed, then it's probably worth getting a BlackBerry Z30 or a Q10 device if those are the things that you're after. But if you're somebody that's looking for an ultra communications device, you want access to the BlackBerry 10 operating system and you don't want a keyboard, then this is definitely worth taking seriously. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Be sure to check out the other videos that are located in the links down below. Until next time, I'm Mkwan. Peace and blessings.